my name is Duncan Weeks and today I'm going to show you how to use a set of pallet forks on a JCB backhoe loader. There are three types of forks available on a JCB backhoe loader. From six in one flip over forks, quick hitch mounted industrial forks and integrated forks which are mounted to the quick hitch. The six in one and integrated quick hitch forks are a flip over design. When the forks are required, they can be easily flipped over and allow the operator to move palletized loads. Let's look at the integrated quick hitch mounted forks. The main advantage of using these forks is that it allows the machine to lift up to two tons in weight. First, we need to remove the front shovel from the quick hitch. The hydraulics to the six in one need to be vented and this is easily done by switching on the ignition and using the control for the six in one to operate the service. Next, we need to disconnect the hoses from the quick hitch. With the hoses removed, we can now remove the front shovel. To unlock the quick hitch, the changeover switch needs to be pressed and simultaneously the auxiliary control is operated and the quick hitch will then unlock. Ensure that the quick hitch is slightly crowded forward to allow the forks to be deployed. Now that the front shovel is removed, we can now flip over the forks. The forks are deployed in two stages. First, you need to take the weight off the top of the fork and then remove the rear retaining pin. The fork is then folded forward to its first position. Next is to remove the second retaining pin that allows the fork to be folded down fully. The retaining pin that was removed is now used to lock the fork into position like so. To move the forks from side to side is simply controlled by the locking T-bar on the back, which unclamps the forks from the crossbar. The fork is then easily moved to the correct position, then the T-bar is locked to keep the fork in the correct place. Now you're ready to move the palletized loader. So, that's how to use pallet forks on a JCB backhoe loader. And remember, if you're unsure about anything, please refer to your operator's manual. For more how-to videos, click on the button below. And whilst you're at it, why not subscribe to our channel?